these chains holding me down. It would seem like it's that time again when I sit down with my old friend, a fountain pen to try and get some perspective, a pair of fresh eyes installed as I step outside the imaginary circle I inhabit. Perhaps this time I'll pay enough attention and observe, notice something new, find a way to release me from these chains holding me down. Careful there, try not to pop a fuse with all that intense thinking. You're better than anyone else, you're not. One more sip from my Italian Luigi Pormioli glass containing juniper, finely distilled, quick, dry gin, and I'll uncover the secrets of the universe. It's really just a method to coerce my mind into thinking it's free, really free from these chains holding me down. I barely touch the paper and the ink flows. Finesse is in no short supply when I metaphorically die to step outside the circle, to tell you what my blue eyes see, what they really see as I think that I'm free from these chains holding me down. I see another circle, just outside the one I'm in. One more inside the second one, repeated into infinity, God laughing his ass off at the futility, the absolute irony of trying to escape a subjective point of view from the inside of a brain. It's insane. It's all in vain. The only objective point of view is the void we come from, are headed to, where we are not anything at all. I see a generation of broken souls. Point one, point two, half a shard short of becoming whole, absent-minded, blinded by being terribly inefficient at managing time, at condemning the most heinous crime, letting themselves go with the flow in the river of ideology, willingly consuming pre-packaged shit, furiously masturbating at their own virtue signaling. It's not our fault. It never was. Look at us. We are oppressed. Whatever the fuck makes you sleep good at night. Fucking clone, drone, mindless automaton, sucking at the tit of your overlords. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you too. I see myself disappointed for being appointed to be different, seemingly indifferent to all this bullshit only to hold a contrarian view. Just like the entire slew of free-thinking cunts enlightened by their own superior intellect. Fuck you too. Fuck myself into corner where I can be on my own enjoying the things I do. Hey, you were promised a different perspective. I let myself go completely. My essence melts, flows into the ink that splatters onto this paper, grinding my hand, taking me to the promised land, heaven, nirvana. You. Everything I am, was, will be, is in you, is you. Eyes that read lines, read between lines, attention that is paid to raid, ravage these thoughts, sorrow that is felt, dealt by absolute reality. A sliver of joy cautiously accepted to rebel against what is, 
A droplet of hope drank in faith of the divine beauty that shines in the kingdom of your creativity. A single tear that is acceptable, ruled by emotion, entertaining the strange notion of being one atom dancing around the sun. How is it that I'm the mirror, yet you're the one I find myself in? Isn't this wonderful? Isn't this great? I broke free of these chains holding me down by simply understanding you are wearing the crown. Simple, yet eternally beautiful, your presence fills me whole. Welcome back home, my soul. <laughs>